What a day. We dissed, stripped to, planted, and sprayed 135 acres of cotton. If you haven't done it already, the video just started, so you probably haven't. Like, click, touch, whatever you gotta do. Comment would help out so much. Let's rewind time. Cue the intro. Oh! I've had it! Hello everybody. Well today we've got a pretty big day ahead of us. We're getting the uh, reclaim system from Precision Planning put on our uh, 4630 John Deere sprayer. Got the uh, great guys from Vantage Southeast are uh, over here now about to get it all put on and uh, Travis is going to tell us exactly what this reclaim system is going to do. Hey everybody. So the reclaim system that we're putting on today is essentially a, a recirculation system but it also primes the pump so or primes the system with product so what we're doing is adding a another uh, plumbing section to each uh, nozzle bar that allows it to return back to the tank and we're going to have an actuator up top that will open up and it's just with a simple switch in the cab you turn it on and things will start circulating so the benefits of this what we're going to be seeing here is you're going to get product you know the solution is going to mix and prime and go to every tip out to every nozzle bar and span across the whole boom so whenever you go to spray you're going to have product there ready to spray and then another uh, another thing is you can see on these ends here we're going to have these 90s where we used to have caps and this is where the recirculation is going to happen and when we took these off we had we actually had some product build up in these ends so another thing that's gonna help us is we're, we're gonna be able to have a better clean out process and keep that product from building up in these ends, recirculate back the tank. So I feel like we're gonna see a lot better uh, just all around spray practices where we can actually clean really good between applications and have a more even distribution of product when we're first starting out with that, that tank. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree. That's probably one of the main benefits is when you pull into a field, you just filled up all your chemicals, you're ready to roll. Right. You know, now we would back into a ditch somewhere and just turn it on, wait till, you know, 10, yep. 15 seconds till you see your solution, you know, coming out. So now, as yep. soon as we press that spray button, everything should be ready to roll, mixed right. where it needs to be. That's right, yeah. Cool. So Michael, you want to tell me what you're doing here real quick? Oh, installing hoses. Installing hoses. Got a That's lot it. of hoses to install. That's it. We got three quarters. We got, what's that look like? Inch and a half, maybe two inch over there? That's right, yep. One inch, three One inch. quarters. We got any half inch? No half inch. No half inch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you about to drill in the tank? Yeah. Why would you do that? Well, we have to put this port in the top of the tank, and then we're gonna actually have our reclaim valve is gonna be at the top, and that's actually our on-off valve that allows the return to flow back into the tank from the booms where we're circulating. All right, I trust you. It's like you know what you're doing. <laughs> You know what happens a lot of times is when you drill through, the, the bit will be loose and it'll wind up falling, falling out the drill. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. All right, well, the clouds have set in and uh, looks like it's about to rain. It's kind of sprinkled on and off. Matter of fact, it rained just enough to knock Jeff out. He was uh, spreading fertilizer on the cotton, so can't spread it when the cotton's wet. But I believe we're about 98% done, and uh, Brian is going to give us an update. 
So Brian, how would you say it went? Everything went really good, went smooth. We're excited to see how it goes. Oh yeah, good deal. All right, the rain has quit for now and the uh, wind's picking up, but everything should be done. So we're gonna crank it up, make sure we don't have any leaks. Just the hose clamp. That's an easy fix. It's easy. I've been wrong one. Oh, it wasn't tight. Let it rip, Tater Chip. I think I actually forgot to tighten that one up. Kind of just waiting at this point. Brittany keeps looking in the tank and then back at Travis in the cab. So said there's a small squirrel in it. Is that what stopped it up? I believe it was something along those lines. A squirrel? Said there's a squirrel in the tank. Huh. We got it figured out. I was joking. It wasn't a, a squirrel. Uh, just a simple issue with the switch. And let's check it out. Okay. We're going to fire a pump on. Solution pump on. Okay. Let me zoom in. Action. Okay. Yep. And so this is going to stay red until I turn our hydro handle on. So now we have flow. So normally you'd be spraying out the boom, right? but now we're recirculating back into the tank. So we're priming all the way out to the tip of the boom and everything. So I got you. So if I look in that tank now, it's going to be yep. mixing it all up? Yep. So that's the new valve that on. He's going to turn it off. Now it should be spraying on the booms. Or through the booms, not on the booms. All right, everybody. Well, we have got it wrapped up. Looking forward to uh, using it. Travis, how do you think it went? I think it went very well. Yep. Ready, ready for the hardest spray season, and we're ready too. So anybody needs anything, just uh, reach out to us, and we're here to help get through the season. Good deal. Yep. Brian, thanks so much. Brittany, thanks. Michael went to wash his hands, but uh, I don't think he wants to be on film anyway. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so the next video you see is we're going to take this to the field and uh, we got to spray some cotton. So let's head over there. All right, and we're off. Change of plans. It's actually been seven days since we had the reclaim installed. And ever since we shot the first part of this video, it's done nothing but rain every single day. Uh, we probably got close to four inches of rain. So it's finally dried out the sun is out it's a beautiful day so we're back in the field we're planting cotton and i'm headed up here to the cotton field to uh, a field we call rogers where i'm going to plant cotton keith is going to get the sprayer and he's going to uh, spray the cotton that we're planting with prowl so let's head that way We're about to pull up to the field. Keefe is running the cotton planter now. We got Kyle, he is strip tilling in front of him. And in front of Kyle, we've got Jeff, he's running the uh, the disc. We already dissed it once and we got so much rain that um, kind of washed everything away. And this field had cucumbers in it. So they've already harvested the cucumbers. Plan was to fall in here, plant it. Then all the rain came. So a little behind, but not too bad. We have a really good day today. We should be able to knock out this whole field, 135 acres, plant it all. Plant it, spray it, be done with it. Busy day on the farm today. I started out this morning uh, planting this right here. And Jimbo finally got back, so he's on the planter and I'm on the sprayer putting out some trowel. Uh, and I did some video a while ago, but I wasn't real sure if my mic was working. I think I put my mic on upside down. Uh, instead of the mic being here, I had the little 
control box up here. So I don't know how much of that video you have any audio on. Um, the main thing I was wanting to do is brag about a little reclaim system we got from Precision Planting. I've been wanting one of those on the planter since the, uh, I want to say it was the Winter Conference 2020. That's how long I've been wanting one. But anyway, uh, neatest thing in the world. You know, if you got a fresh tank of you know, water and you mix chemicals, you got water in your boom where you rinsed out last time. You just turn that on when you get to the field, turn your spray on instead of the spraying. At the end of the field, it recycles that water back into the tank and uh, you don't have any waste. Um, it also helps uh, with cleanup. You know, when you're spraying heavy chemicals, thick stuff, a lot of times it'll cake up in the ends of your uh, tubes on your sprayer boom. You gotta take the caps off, clean all that out. Well, there is no caps anymore. It's just a, a complete loop back to the tank. So that turns the valves on to let it recycle that back into the tank. So it's gonna be real interesting to see how much time it saves me. I know it's going to work. I mean, it's, it worked like a charm when I pulled into the field. Um, about to hit a tree. Oh, we'll do that. On the other side of the dirt road, too. <laughs> I don't mind it. I want to hit trees on the other side. Yeah, that's a pretty neat setup. Um, they came out the other day, it didn't take them long to put it on. Uh, I'm sure Jim probably got a video of that. Especially going from heavy chemicals like Prowl or say Macho or something like that. You know, um, that stuff's bad. Notorious about caking up everywhere. Matter of fact, I think when they took the boom apart, me, as good as this thing's been washed out, I think they did find some Prowl in it when they took the plugs off. Definitely gonna make an improvement as far as our spray not getting sprays mixed with other spray and not putting the wrong thing out when you ain't supposed to be. And Jim has done stops twice. Oh, he's video. I was gonna say that thing been around like a Cadillac, David. I haven't seen him stop twice. So much for a cool shot. I forgot to engage my uh, button on my GPS tremble and uh, got a little cattywampus. Cattywampus on us. Cattywampus on us. Cattywampus on us. Cattywampus on us. But straightened it out. And yeah, we are planting cotton, like I said earlier. Cucumbers were here just a week ago and they're still around. Look at that. This guy's pretty lucky. He has missed two distinct diskings, disting, distings, two trips around with a disc. He's missed the strip till and he missed the cotton planter. Still in one piece. Probably could eat it. Nope. Bam! Might as well check some seed depth while we're out here. There it is. Do you see it? There it is. Just right. Just right, we're about uh, about a half an inch. Unfortunately, we've got more rain coming tomorrow, so that's why we're going to plant the whole field today. We're planting it shallow, and uh, so if we do get a massive rain, it won't pack it down there and, and not come up. But. Well, I am now on the east side of the pivot. I have 96.12 acres, so I got about 35 acres left is 515. So if everything goes well, should be finishing this up right at dark, and uh, which is good. Have everything planted, and uh, more likely get a rain on it tomorrow. We really don't need another rain, but we'll take it. And yeah, so far so good. Can't complain. A fox, coyote, dog. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's got babies. 
It's a fox and fox babies. Just got out of the tractor to take a leak. Saw some cucumbers on the ground. So I've placed them on the uh, lids of my hoppers. See how long they'll stay on. And we're off. Oh. Still on. The one other one fell off. Oh, it's gonna stay there. It's in that little groove where the John Deere logo is. All right, I am almost done. I've got like 132 acres left. So all I gotta do is go down there, plant my in rows, but about out of seats. So I'm waiting on Kyle. He's finished strip tilling and he's gonna bring me uh, one more bag, put on the tractor, maybe put a little bit in it, get us, uh, get us done. Oh, sunset and a sprayer. Fresh smell of crowd. Man, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, it does, but it sounded good. There's Kyle. All right, they are loaded up, ready to roll. Just put just enough to uh, finish it finish it out. Better hurry up, keep on the other end waiting on me. Doing my in rows now and it's starting to sprinkle. So just hold off for just a little bit longer. I mean, really at this point, it could come a torrential downpour and I'm still gonna finish this in row one way or the other. All right, this is it. The last little bit of the in row and cotton planting is done for the year. Wow, what a day. We dissed, strip tilled, planted, and sprayed 135 acres of cotton. Well, that is it. Finished it up just in time. Should be able to get the uh, tractor back to the barn just before dark. But thanks so much for watching this video. Check out precisionplanting.com if you are interested in the uh, Reclaim or, or any of their products. They have so much stuff for planters and uh, you name it. So yeah, check it out. Link will be in the description. And uh, whoa. I better get off of here before I smack a telephone pole. But yes, thanks so much. Jesus loves you guys. Keep it in the field rows. See ya. Bye. Bye.